another example of writing an equation with fractions in a word problem. A designer has 15 and 3 fourths yard of fabric. The designer uses 3 and 1 fifth yard on a dress. How much fabric does the designer have left? So you have the total amount of fabric, which is 15 and 3 fourths. And the designer uses up 3 and 1 fifth yard on the dress. How much fabric does the designer have left? So there are several ways to set up this equation. You could take out what the, fa what the designer has left, and that would equal what he's um, used up, 3 and 1 fifths. Or you could write it very straightforward and just say 15 over 3 fourths minus 3 and 1 fifths, what he used up, leaving what's left over. Either way, the equation will give you um, the same answer. So let's work, it, le let's work out the equations both ways and see how we get the same answer. So 4 and 5 can both be 20, multiply by 5, multiply by 5. I get 15 and 15 over 20 minus, multiply by 4, 3 and 4 over 20 equals what's left over. 15 minus 3 is 12, and 15 minus 4 is 11 over 20. So the leftover portion is 12 and 11 over 20 yards. Now let's try it in this equation which is going backwards, taking out what's left over to see to equal what was used up. So I'm going to make the denominators the same once again, times 5 times 5. That will give me 15 and 15 over 20, and minus what was, what's left over, and times 4 times 4. That will give me 3 and 4 over 20. Now the opposite of adding 15 and 15 over 20, remember not to look here because that negative goes along with the 11. What goes here is a positive. This is going to be to subtract. This cancels to 0 and I have negative 11 equals. And when adding and subtracting integers as we are doing here, when the signs are opposite, one's a positive and one's a negative, you need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract. 15 minus 3 is 12, and 15 minus 4 is 11 over 20. And notice that here the negative is larger, so this is going to be a negative here. Negative 12, 11 over 20. And we want to get rid of the negatives, so I'm going to multiply by negative 1, because when you multiply by 1, the value won't change, but the negatives will give us the positives that we're looking for. And both ways we get the same answer, 12 and 11 over 20 yards. So that's how much the designer has left over. Thank you for watching educator.com.